yesterday, the Vermont Supreme Court ruled that limiting marriage between only human men and women is unconstitutional, effectively legalizing vampire marriage in the state. Courthouses will be staying open after dark to accommodate hundreds of couples from all over America. Oh my God, Suki, you know what this means? Now you and Bill can get married. Stop it, Arlene. This is Vermont. Besides, he hasn't even asked me yet, and I don't know what I'd say if he did. Uh -huh. I think you should marry Bill. In hell, I'll even throw you a party. Won't even break the bank, because all you need is a couple kegs of True Blood, seeing as how they don't eat or drink. Bet there's even a vampire band, vampire wedding decorations. Put Arlene's party to shame. You know you're about as subtle as a flying brick. Marianne says if you want something, you don't wait for it to come to you. You, you demand it. Do me a favor. Don't quote Marianne to me. Well, excuse me for giving a damn. You heard from your cousin by any chance? He's about to give away his job. Uh-uh. But this one time Lafayette went to Marthaville for the night, he ended up go-go dancing in Palm Beach for like eight months. Fantastic. People disappear all the time, but they're never really gone. The good parts of them always stay put. I hope you're right about that, Terry. Your hair is like a sunset after a bomb went off. Pretty. And God said, let there be light. <laughs> <laughs>